entire run is doing pretty good with all of this rain, but this area right here, I'm gonna need to bring some dirt in to build that up. The issue is it goes like this and then goes into the actual covered coop, which doesn't get sun, so it's not gonna dry as quickly. He's not very nice, so we're keeping an eye on him. Um, so what I'm fixing to do is lay down some garden or agricultural lime and then put kind of work that into this mud which will help dry it out faster and then lay shavings on top of it because I need all this to stay clean or else we end up with this situation. I'll show you. Where did the mean rooster go? There he is. I really have to watch him. I don't I don't want to get attacked. So you see how nasty those eggs are? That's what happens when you have mud on the ground before they go into the actual food. It is so loud in here. And then I have a couple that laid in their nice clean dirt area. But yeah, we're fixing to lay some lime down and some pellets. And hopefully that will keep this area dry for a little longer. We're also going to tarp this side of the run, like all the way down to the ground. Because when it's raining, the wind is blowing the rain in to the coop over there. place for the chickens to walk but that is what we've done in the stalls inside of our barn that we're flooding and it worked really really well uh, I'll probably have to do this a few more times and then like I said I need to add dirt into like that little bully that's in the coop or in the run but once I finish all that we should with water coming up in here and then later I'll go ahead and add that tarp as well. girls in the nesting boxes over there once they're done laying we'll come get the eggs if you enjoyed this video please be sure to hit that like and subscribe button and we will see you guys later bye